Hey out there, this is your friend Henry, and today I'm going to review the Rocketfish Bluetooth keyboard. And uh, I've been using this keyboard for quite some time now, probably about mm, four months since I've got it. And um, I'm really impressed with it. So what I'll do is I'll show you the, the keyboard. Uh, Rocketfish, I believe, is known for a lot of video gaming and gaming, PC gaming. Um, I've seen Rocketfish on different gaming uh, peripherals, uh, controllers. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go through it. Um, this is the keyboard. It is a Bluetooth keyboard, and it's uh, it's really big. It's wide. The keys um, are nice. The feedback is minimum. It's not like a mechanical keyboard, but it gets the job done. It has this really, it's like a um, padded cushion almost right here where the handrest is. And that is really comfortable. I thoroughly enjoy that feature of the keyboard. Again, there's the Rocketfish logo. And this is Rocketfish Bluetooth keyboard, model number RF, as in Frank, B as in Beta, T as in Tom, K as in Kite, B as in Beta 2. Um, it's a 3 volt, 25 MA. It takes two AA batteries. Um, and it is Bluetooth. So um, you got your, I like that it has your keypad. It has the typical, you know, keys that you would expect on a computer keyboard for a PC. I actually use this on my MacBook Pro, and it works wonderfully. Uh, it it takes literally not even a second for it to show up on my MacBook as recognized. I didn't have to download any drivers for it. I literally just put batteries in it powered the MacBook Pro up and it was working just fine. Um, it, uh, let's see, there's some side buttons here which is really nice. Uh, you got your, what is that? Uh, mute button. You got, I, I really like these controls here because you can control like a DVD or if you're playing a video you can fast forward, you can rewind, you can stop, you can uh, you can you can play or pause, stop, fast forward, rewind or mute, which is really cool. On the other side, there is another bar of controls. This is really cool. This is uh, for your volume for the actual computer. Um, this was the this was for the video itself. This is for the actual computer. So you can actually control the computer's volume from here, which is cool. Um, what else? We got a question key. We have a home key. Um, I'll give you a nice glimpse of what the keys look like. I'm just going to go real slow and nice so you can see. And then the back is actually, the back, here's, here's how slim it is. Here's the back of it, and the back is nice. I like this red color. This is where the batteries come in, right here. You just pull that up, and that's where the two double A's are. You have the flips that elevate the keyboard. So you can rest this keyboard on your lap, or you can set this, uh, prop it up on your table or desk. Which I like, I like because this actually would be a really great keyboard for like uh, TV gaming. Like if you have your PC hooked up directly into your um, TV and you just want to game. Well, I know a lot of people are doing that now. Um, this is perfect for it. And um, let's see, here's a uh, sync button. This is actually, I think this is a sync button if you can see that. But I didn't have to use it. Uh, the minute I powered my MacBook Pro on, it's Bluetooth capable. Uh, it worked fine. So that's the, you know, as long as you have a device that's Bluetooth capable, it works fine. I didn't have any problems with it. It doesn't require 
it because because it hooks up through Bluetooth, it doesn't require any kind of uh, drivers or any kind of dongle that you have to plug into the computer. It works fine. So I I do love this keyboard. It is it is rather big. So and I like you know I have big hands, so it works great for me. Some people with little hands, or if, if you're used to the smaller keyboards, may not be the best for you. But oh, so far it's great. I um, uh, I like it. So that I just I just wanted to get on here and review this and show you in case you were on the fence about buying it or, or checking into it yourself. Um, that's about it. So thanks for watching. I will see you later.